Amini wanu. Serwanga is currently living in Nabinene village, Kabonera sub-county in Masaka district. Serwanga had military training in present-day Myanmar, Obama as it was then known. He also received medical training before he picked up interest in taking up the role of a press secretary to King Edward Mutesa II. He first worked with several local newspapers and later joined the Kawakas press team. According to Serwanga, prior to independence, the Kawaka and members of Buganda Luchiko started agitating for federalism. Importantly, they wanted the Kawaka to be the first president. He says the attack on the Rubiri was finally sparked off by verbal exchanges between the Buganda Luchiko and the central government. Serwanga recalls witnessing the soldiers dressed in casual wear rehearsing the attack. Deep in the night, Serwanga was woken up by bullets when the palace was attacked. People stayed indoors for two days after the attack, and only brave ones like Serwanga risked to move out. He recalls that Mutesa escaped from the palace after his royal guards ran out of bullets and they had to find a way for the Kabaka to flee. As a journalist, John tried to find information about deaths and injuries as a result of the attack. Obote continued to hunt for Mutesa and promised a big present for anyone with information that would lead him to Mutesa. Radio Uganda ya gulanga wa shaa kuna bilo cha kaumbeji, shaa bii ni jako. Ate ni damu shaa kuna bilo cha kuncha, shaa bii ni jako. Na yunga ya gulanga wa shaa kuna bilo cha kuncha, shaa bii ni jako. Na yunga ya gulanga wa shaa kuna bilo cha kuncha, It became hard for Seruanga to write any news story. Uli papra obote na lugao. Elo wanga kubuhiza. Yalagila mulagi, nilugao. After some time, Maogola chief Mumiran Sanafu on Kabaka Mtesa's demand pressed for Serwanga to secretly go and meet the Kabaka in Maogola. Serwanga briefed the Kabaka of the situation in Kampala before deciding his next move. Nga mbuja ntishao sejia katigui ni dupchi. Nga gama nchempali ino jundaba yeyo kaji ndimu. Nga mbundaba. Nga gama nchishula okuisha mbujibubo na. Despite the huge prize to anyone who would alert Obote of Mutesa's hideouts, Sirwanga only told this secret to two trusted friends. It was decided for the Kawaka to head to Randa. Serwanga was overjoyed on hearing that Mutesa had found his way to London. After his ordeal, Serwanga laments the lack of recognition for his contribution to the kingdom. He also believes that Badru Musoke, the taxi driver who helped Mutesa to escape to Rwanda and the guard at the border, have never been recognized. However, 
However, Serwanga is grateful to God who has blessed him with long life. Patrick Senyondo, NTV Tonight. Mm.